What's up, guys? Welcome to another epic episode of J. Philly Retro Toys. I just spit all over myself. Sorry about that, guys. If you saw that, I apologize. Uh, thank you guys for being here today. I might cut that out. That might be a blooper reel right there. Um, thank you guys for joining me today. Thank you for clicking onto this video and joining me for another epic toy hunting adventure, guys. Um, guys, today we're going to do what we do best. We're going to do vintage toy hunting at uh, local thrift stores today. So if you like vintage toy hunting, guys, feel free to uh, consider subscribing. Um, watch the video first. See if it's something you like. Uh, at the end of this video, if you're like, you know what, that guy's pretty cool, or that's pretty awesome that he goes to thrift stores and looks for vintage toys, uh, whether I find something today or not, I would very much appreciate you guys subscribing. Um, guys, today we are in Collegeville Trap, Pennsylvania, um, and I'm at the Goodwill. Uh, I was working right next door, uh, just down the road actually from this plaza, saw it, and I thought, oh, do I want to stop in there? And then I thought, you know what, the day I don't stop in there is the day that I might miss out on an epic score, you know? So I'm never going to, like, not stop in to a thrift store. Oops, sorry about that, when I have the chance. Um, you know, even, even I can't even remember what the last thing I pulled out of here was that was, you know, any good, honestly. Um, same with the Phoenixville Goodwill. Uh, Goodwills are just tough these days. Um, but I'm never not going to go because I might miss something cool if I don't. Uh, so anyway, guys, let's go in here and uh, see what we can find today. All right, guys, here we are. Goodwill. Goodwill, baby. Goodwill. Goodwill. Goodwill, baby. Got lots of people over here eating at the cafe next door, looking at me. <laughs> I don't care. Give me some good, Goodwill. All right, guys, so uh, in my last video, if you remember, I actually uh, explained that I'm going to start looking for and picking up, possibly, more uh, documentaries. I've recently discovered that I really love documentaries. So I'm going to start looking for more and uh, I'll see if I can find anything here today. I'll let you know. So guys, something you probably don't know about me is that my wife and I absolutely love Christmas movies. Like even like the crazy, cheesy, like Lifetime and Hallmark movies. We love them. We watch them every year. Uh, I found this. We actually just watched this this past Christmas. Um, this is brand new. Sealed, $3, but blue tags are 50% off today, so it's $1.50. Uh, this, I think, was Rob, one of Robin Williams' last performance. So I think I'm going to pick this up. I kind of remember that this was pretty good. So I want to add this to our Christmas collection. Right, guys, heading back to the toy section back there. I found this on an end cap. It's kind of cool. It looks like a maybe a McFarlane um, figure. It's from Chicago Bears Marshall. I'm trying to think of who that is. I don't know who that is. But uh, I'm not going to get it, but it's cool. And here's actually another one. Looks like Adrian Peterson. So somebody, uh, somebody offloaded their McFarlane sports figures. Look at the size of this bear. <laughs> Holy crap. Guys, I found a older, not original, not 80s, but this is from 1999 version of Mousetrap. It's only $2.99. I'm thinking about opening it up and seeing if it's all there. Sounds like it's complete, maybe. <laughs> Can't really tell by sound, but yeah, I'm going to open it and look. Well, guys, it looks like it might be all here we got instructions and you know all that uh, there's the there's the die and the BB there's a couple of them there there's the mouse um, there's a couple mice there's a green one down there yeah I think it's all here guys I'm gonna get that I'm gonna pick this up all right so it looks like uh, I did pick up the game um, looks like we got a lot of other Pretty cool stuff here today. They're they're packed. They're loaded today, guys. So uh, let's look and see what else we can find here. They got the music blasting, so I'm probably not going to. What is this? The blockbuster video party game. A movie game for anyone who's ever seen a movie. 
Okay. That's kind of crazy. Huh. What year is that from? Uh, I don't know. I don't see a year on it. Oh, there it is. 2018, really? Huh. Guys, if Steven was still about three, I would definitely pick this up. He was obsessed with fire engines when he was a little kid. This is just a bag of fire engines. Uh, let's see, we've got some kind of a, a turtle's bag, lunchbox maybe. Um, we got some kind of a Nerf game. Huh. Get the Undertaker back here. I think it's a Dollar Tree thing. Um, got some big games, slingshot, hockey, shuffleboard combo. There's a big Imagine X set. There's another Nerf gun there. That's Steve-O's kind of thing. We got a uh, Disney Cars, I think. Yeah, Rusty's a Disney Cars. Big old semi truck. Um, I'll let you guys know if I... Oh, look at this. We got a bag full of 12 inch figures. Wow. Got some Batman, some Iron Man, Flash, got some Spider-Man, $12.99 for that. I don't know, that might not, not be, that might not be a bad buy, but not for me. Looks like we still got that, uh, that light year plane down there. Um, oh wow, look at this. Another, another big bag full of, uh, full of figures. $12.99 again. Yeah, like I said, if I was into, uh, big 12-inch figures, they don't really resell that well either. So, I'm probably going to leave these, but, uh, yeah, man, if I had a little boy still, I would definitely pick those up. Look at this, there's another one right here. Holy crap. There's a six inch flash figure there. The Thanos. I might have to look through these to make sure they're all just, just a shredder. Hmm. Yeah guys, I mean honestly, this is like a, a gold mine for someone who's who's got kids that like superheroes. Holy crap, look at that. Uh, looks like there's another, another light year ship down here. Um, they got lots of just like little play sets and stuff. I've just been kind of, kind of looking. Their shelves are loaded today. Not necessarily of anything, you know, that I want to pick up, but their shelves are definitely loaded. There's some Barbies. Oops. Guys, is this like Marilyn Monroe or something? I think it is. Hey guys, here's a Hulkbuster. I'm gonna put him back here with these other with these other figures. So if somebody wants some of these, they'll actually get him too. Because I'm sure kids love him. Alright guys, just kind of looking through the plush bins here. The giant peep. <laughs> giant purple peep as uh, uh, cars uh, not really seeing too much that I'm interested in today I don't think I got a lot of plush but I got Raggedy Ann and Andy those are definitely modern um, but yeah nothing I'm really wanting to pick up Whew, it's a scorcher out here today guys in southeastern Pennsylvania it's supposed to be like 89, 90 degrees today or something like that, I think. Uh, it's hot already. It's about 1 o'clock, 1.30, and it's friggin' hot. Um, so, guys, I did pick up the Mousetrap game today at uh, Goodwill. Sorry, that's backwards, I know, but it's the Mousetrap game. Uh, if you guys have been watching this channel for a while, you guys know I've seen other Mousetrap games um, in other stores, more modern versions. And uh, honestly, I've been looking for the 80s version, but this is pretty close. It's 1999, 
Uh, I remember playing Mousetrap in the 80s, like the very first time I played it, I was probably 10 maybe. Um, I remember seeing it, somebody brought it to school I think, and I just was like, holy crap, that's awesome. I don't think I ever had the game when I was a kid, but I've been like obsessed over it ever since then. I just love it. Um, and I wanted, you know, eventually, hopefully I'll find an 80s version to replace this, but for now, the 1999 version is plenty good enough for me. Um, so I'm really happy to have found that. Uh, the Christmas DVD I put back. Um, I had second thoughts about it, and I think maybe I already picked that up earlier in the year. Uh, so I'll double check, you know, later on, and if I still need it, I can always come back and see if it's here. Uh, if not, I can find it somewhere else, so... Um, guys, that's it for Goodwill Trap, Pennsylvania. Uh, and I don't know where we're going next. Uh, I don't know where we're going next. Sorry, my I slur my words sometimes. <laughs> uh, I haven't been drinking, I swear. Anyway, uh, we'll see you wherever we go next. Hey guys, just wanted to pop in here real quick and give you a quick update. Um, if you guys remember a couple videos ago, I purchased the PlayStation drum set at a yard sale. Uh, dude just picked it up, made myself a little bit of cheddar, and uh, just wanted to let you guys know there is a difference between being a flipper and a reseller, at least in my mind. Uh, resales, if you come upon something that you find for cheap and you know that you can resell it, it's the same thing people do on eBay and Mercari and Facebook Marketplace. I mean, I honestly, I don't think there's anything wrong with that at all. Flippers go out and they actively look for like brand new items that are just come out, you know, the, the, the day of the release and they buy them all up and then sell them at exorbitant prices. Those are flippers. Difference there. Just an update. All right, guys. So it's a couple days later. Uh, I actually got a hot tip last night that Worthwhile Thrift is having a 50% off all kid stuff sale today. Uh, which includes toys, thankfully. So uh, hopefully we can find something good. It's about 10.15. They just opened at 10 o'clock, so... Doesn't look like there's a whole lot of people here yet, thankfully. Let's go see what we can find. Yeah, guys, there it is. Wednesday, June 21st. Kids Corner Sale, 50% off. Woohoo! Let's go see what we can find. All right, guys. Well, I raced back here. <laughs> um, possibly for nothing. Doesn't look like they have a whole lot out today. For a big 50% off sale, but uh, we'll look around. Looks like they got a new bin full of, of red cars. <laughs> oh, look at this. There's a Batmobile. That's cool. Die cast Batmobile. $1.99, so it'd be a dollar. I might pick that up for sure. All right, we'll get that. Oh, that's a cool police car or a fire fire department car. Cool. Let's see, there's an old timey engine. There's another fire engine. Look at that, fire chief. Those are cool. What else is in here? It's an army jeep. Some police cars. What's this? NYPD. Like just a bunch of old police cars. This one's cool. Look at that. Not bad, not bad. Yeah, very cool. I am going to pick up the Batmobile though. We got a Fast and the Furious Spy Racers car. Um, lots of cars today. It's an old taxi. <laughs> It's a cheapy little Optimus. That's cool, 99 cents. I don't think Steven would be interested in that one. That's just kind of a cheapy one. There's a dinosaur riding a motorcycle. Uh, let's see. Is that a Batman figure? Here's a Batman figure. Huh. Interesting. Um, got some Nerf guns. Here's a bag of little Shopkins and or not Shopkins. What are these things called? 
littlest pet shop or something. Got these horses back here. Well, let's look down in this bag here. Is a rescue heroes figure. Uh, looks like just some some baby stuff down in here. Not a whole lot. Uh, they got a helicopter up here. That's kind of cool. Coast Guard. What's this? Magic ball. Hmm. Thunder tumbler. Uh, I got some Mickey Mouse puzzles down here. This stuff has been here. That's old. But I don't really collect that kind of stuff. Yes, it's vintage, but not really something for me. There's a Barbie Jeep. What's this? I'm not sure. Uh, I'm seeing nothing over here. There's a 50% off sale. Oh, look at this. That's a cool Ford monster truck. Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. Let's see. Robot Turtles. <laughs> What's this up here? Yeah. Wow, look at that. Snow White and the Seven Dwarves game. That's huge. It's cool. I'm sure it's vintage, but it's huge. Let's see. Let's see what the year is on that. Um, I don't see a year on it. Huh. I don't know, but it is vintage, I'm sure. Look at that. Okay, let's look in these bins here, guys. There's some uh, plushies down in here. I'm not sure what that is. There's a grandma with a tray on her lap. Looks like a Funko Pop. Oh, that's the little girl with Forky. Must be from Toy Story. Yeah, not a whole lot in here. It's this right here. Oh, I got some Mario, Mario figures here. I got a Yosemite Sam. in here. Anything? Hmm. I'm not really seeing a whole lot else over here, guys. Which is kind of weird, because I would think they would have this shelf stacked today. Which they kind of do, but just not with anything that I want. Um. Yeah. I think I'm just going to pass on this bag. Um, I mean, there's a lot of toys in there for $2. But really, these two right here would be the only ones that I would want, and they're not even vintage. So I think I'm going to pass on this big bag. And not much at all in the, uh, the bin of woe today either. I'm not really seeing anything worth picking up, really. down to the bottom here. Let's see what's up that. There's an ET. There's an ET in there. That's an ET Pez. Hmm. Alright, that one I might grab. Guys, look at the size of that thing. Holy cow. That thing is huge. Wow. Hero Force. That's a huge plane. It's cool, but way too big for my space. <laughs> Alright guys, not a whole lot in the plushy bin, but I did find a brand new, with tags, Peppa Pig. <laughs> guys, this lady here has got a cart full of stuff.
Yikes. Let's see. New Warriors. It's a Stranger Things comic. Let's see. Black Canary. Batman. Green arrow. Huh. Cool. Let's see what else is over here. Simpsons. Rabbids. Bruce Lee. Star Trek Planet of the Apes. That's interesting. Bob's Burgers. There's an old Superman quiz book. That's cool. Alright, well we might as well look at the, uh, the DVDs and stuff while we're here. Maybe they'll have a, you know, a couple decent documentaries or something I can pick up. I'll let you know what I find. All right, guys. Well, that was a uh, worthwhile thrift. Kind of surprised. I actually thought uh, when I first heard that they were having a 50% off sale, I was actually kind of expecting them to have, like, you know, a, quite a bit of stuff out uh, as far as toys and stuff goes. They just had their normal stuff, really. A few new things, but not a whole lot. Um, I picked up a couple things. Uh, a couple non-toys. Uh, let me show you what I got. So the last time I was here, I almost bought a Blues Traveler CD. Uh, this exact CD, actually. Well, not this exact one, but this CD. Uh, and uh, f uh, went to check it, check the disc and stuff, and saw that it was actually the wrong disc in the case. Uh, today, I actually found another one with the right disc in the case. So I picked up this Blues Traveler CD. Also picked up Sinatra 80, all the best. Um, it's got like a lot of the classic Frank Sinatra songs on there. Uh, my wife and I are huge, you know, Frank Sinatra fans. So um, yeah, just uh, wanted to add that to the CD collection. So I did pick up this uh, classic Batman Batmobile. Uh, it's not vintage, it's made by Jada Toys, but still really cool. I just thought it looked really awesome. Thought it would look good on a shelf. It was only $1.99. It was 50% off of that. So I got it for a dollar. I figured, why not uh, grab that and stick it on the shelf with my Batman stuff. And then I grabbed this Flintstones Coloring and Activity book. Uh, it's from 1992. I actually saw this the last time I was there, uh, or here, <laughs> at Worthwhile. Um, and somehow I didn't, I didn't pick it up. I think it must have got put back by accident or something. Uh, and I didn't realize it until I got home. Um, but I found it again. It was still in there. So I definitely picked it up this time. Um, again. Oh, no. Actually, it's from 1994. I thought it was 1992. 1994. It doesn't matter. It's still cool. And then the last thing I picked up was this official Superman quiz book from 1978. How cool is this? It's just... Uh, I love the artwork on it. The old classic Superman. Um, just basically, you know, questions, true, false, um, with a little bit of artwork in there. Pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, I'll just, uh, stick that on my shelf just as a novelty. I think it's really awesome. So guys, I forgot to do a, uh, an exit portion to this video. So I'm doing something very irresponsible. I'm doing it while I'm driving. I'm at a red light, so it's cool it, you know? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um... But guys, yeah, thank you for watching this. I, I think that's going to be it for today. I'm trying to get to the grocery store and then get back home now um, because my dad is actually coming for just an overnight stay today. 
uh, he'll be getting here in just a few hours. Um, just had to come and do something real quick and going right back home tomorrow morning. So uh, I'm probably going to end this video here because I'm not going to go anywhere else today. Guys, thank you so much for watching. In case you're wondering, I did put that bag with the ET Pez back. Um, I love ET, but that was not a vintage Pez and I'm just not a Pez collector. So guys, anyway, thank you so much for watching. I sincerely appreciate it. Guys, if you haven't already, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Sorry, I'm doing all kinds of stuff while I'm recording this, so I'm a, I'm a very bad YouTuber. Uh, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Later.